Judd, if you are somebody from West Africa, from parts of Central Africa, of course you likely do know about the Anglophone crisis in Cameroon. But this war does seem to get very little attention in the international media. It does seem to be relatively less well known than, say, what's happening in Tigray. Why is that? Well, I think that it's been neglected and that's been a real tragedy. And the reasons are pretty self-explanatory. This is a very complex crisis in a medium-sized country. And it's been simmering since 2016, 2017. And so most of the international media, not your program, of course, doesn't spend a lot of time on Africa. And so they, they're focused on Ethiopia or the Sahel or Nigeria. These are easier to convey to international communities what the stakes are. Uh, but Cameroon ends up getting short shrift. I would note that the international community, diplomats, the U.S. Congress, Africans are engaged on this topic and on this crisis, but they're not having much effect. So what can the regional community, obviously France and Cameroon have a good working relationship as well. What can the regional community actually do to create some kind of resolution to work towards some kind of ceasefire? Well, I mean, there's a couple of challenges, right? The, first of all, the government so far um, has only made very superficial concessions. It's really dragged its feet. And on the side of the Anglophones, well, it's very divided, very fragmented. You've got elements that are for peace, uh, just the cessation of conflict. You've got elements that want a new federal or confederal arrangement. And then you've got the secessionists. And they, some of them can be very hardline, very violent, attacking civilians, attacking each other. Um, and so this has been difficult because who do you negotiate? I think the international community, though, and we've seen uh, the Swiss do this a little bit, can bring these sides together to set up some, um, some agreed upon standards and agreed upon benchmarks for moving towards peace. But we're going to have to see a more robust and higher level engagement if we want to move forward. And from France's perspective, they're unlikely to put that much pressure on, on Cameroon at this point in time. Cameroon has been very useful uh, to France in terms of fighting terrorism. It's been very useful in terms of welcoming refugees from the Central African Republic. So Paris, Emmanuel Macron, they're unlikely to rock the boat too much at this time. Yeah, you nailed it, right? Cameroon's an incredibly important counterterrorism partner for French. Uh, it's also important for the Central African Republic. And President Paul Bia of Cameroon has this long relationship with Paris going back decades. So they're unlikely to upset the apple cart. And finally, and we see this with Paris's relationship across the region, they don't want to do things in a public manner. They don't want to potentially embarrass their former colonies. So everything is quiet. Uh, everything is sort of behind the scenes. Um, and it's not to say they haven't condemned some of the human rights abuses or called for dialogue, but it has been very muted in general, given what the problems are.